She had a piece of hair in the food. I was like, good, just give me that, let me eat it. She was like, you gonna eat that? I said, that ain't the first thing I ate with some hair on it. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, it wasn't no hair in the food. <laughs> but real quick disclaimer, some of y'all know me, but I, I, have a, I have a speech impediment, I stutter, so sometimes it takes me a, a, a little while to get the motherfucker work. <laughs> But that's all right. That's all right. Just, just, just roll with. We're gonna be all right. You know, I've been stuttering my whole life. But it seems like I stutter. But it seems like I stutter at the most inopportune times. I know a lot of y'all probably saying, "When the fuck is a good time to stutter?" And I used to ask myself that same question. But there actually is. When I'm going down on my girl. For some reason, she loved when I say the word lollipop. Well, <laughs> 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 I'll be like, well, I'll be like, pour you a pig in that pussy. Like, get it, get it, get it, that's all, folks. Huh? <laughs> like, I, like I said, I've been stuttering my whole life, and uh, I remember years ago I went out to Las Vegas and I joined the Air Force, and uh, they gave me my first assignment. So they sent me over to the barracks, and I walk over to the barracks, and I knock on the door. And the dude opens the door. He was like, hey, my neck. He said, you're a stuttering motherfucker. <laughs> Air Force had enough to put me in a room with another dude that stuttered. <laughs> we was up all night. <laughs> trying to say goodnight to us. <laughs> Man, we finally said fucking just hate that. Like, I'm tired, boss, I'm tired. Damn, Chris. Then they gave me my first job as an air traffic controller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a short-lived career. Short-lived career, but, uh, man. <laughs> Ladies, there's a lot of good looking ladies out here. Like, can we give a hand to these ladies? Ladies, give yourself a hand. Come on, give the ladies a hand. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the beauty and the booty in here. Right. Right. But ladies, I need y'all to stop. 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 No, I'm lying. We really ain't trying to fuck. We really is, but it's not our fault. It's not our fault. It's the music. The music is so aggressive. You got just women empowering. You got uh, the stallion. You got Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. We just trying to match our energy. See, I'm 58. I know this baby don't age. I know baby don't age. No. <laughs> I'm from a different era. I mean, we still was trying to, we was trying to fuck, but it was a little more laid back about it. Mm -hmm. But ladies, I, I love this aggressive shit, this, this woman empowerment. You see something you want, take it. You see some dick you want, take the dick. <laughs> you want to throw that pussy? Throw that pussy. <laughs> I just have one request. If you don't be throwing the pussy, make sure it's clean. <laughs> now, I know you saying to yourself, I know you ain't talking about me because I take a shower, I touch, I got summer's eve. <laughs> Sometimes that pussy gotta get soaked. <laughs> Personally, I don't trust no woman without a bathtub. I mean, think about it, it's logical. You, you cooking something in the uh, kitchen and you burn it up, you put some water and soap in it, what you do? Soak it. <laughs> Fellas, when y'all was kids, y'all had them, them dirty ass socks for four days, your mama put in that bleach water, what she do? Soak it. Soak that pussy. 
seen. I actually did a side by side taste test. A shower pussy, bad pussy. By far, bad pussy is the best taste of pussy. All that shit. Where my married people at? Everybody, all the married people scared to say they're married. I know my man married over there. I got married three times. They said the third time was a charm. That was a fucking lie. I mean, my, my first marriage, you know, my, my wife died and uh, it was long, it was cool. No, it was sad, but not really. You know, the, the, the big regret, well, I don't know about for me, but for her was that I, I couldn't grant her her dying wish on her deathbed. She's trying to tell me, she's like, <laughs> I said, fuck it, let me take the pillow off her face. Maybe I can have a good chance to say that. <laughs> I got, married for the, I got married for the wrong reasons, man. I think I was more in love with having a family again. Uh, she didn't last too long, man. She tried to give me for everything. So we finally came to an amicable decision. We said we're just going just gonna to split everything. So we split the house. She wanted to get the inside. I got the outside. <laughs> I mean, uh, that, 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 that young lady. But you know, shit, the marriage is rough, man. But uh, so, as a result, I'm single now. And single dating in your 50s is hard as fuck. I mean, I, I mean, some beautiful women, I guess. The big thing now is all, all the tattoos. The women got all these tattoos. Something that's just kind of sexy. It begins to become unsexy when you have more tattoos than you have teeth. <laughs> so I, I have a little problem with that. <laughs> then I see these women with these tattoos on their body parts. I'm like, damn. So I'm 58, and then they got dudes' names tattooed on their titties and their ass. Yeah. I'm 58. Nobody got my name tattooed on them. <laughs> That's not funny. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> Laugh at my pain. <laughs> but I, I got two questions. I just want to know, what kind of dick is that? And where can I get one from? <laughs> Nobody had my name on it, man. So I've been dating, man. So uh, actually, I broke up because of a tattoo. I'm dating this young lady, man. And uh, I look over. I'm getting all central on the titties. And I want some foreplay. And I'm about to. Lick that left nipple and I see F R A A K. I'm the fucking Frank. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just just slide. A couple of weeks later, same shit again. Frank. And quite frankly, this shit leaving a bad taste in my mouth. So I told him, I said, listen, I need to talk to Frank. Me yeah, and Frank gotta talk. I trapped Frank down in the park. <laughs> I said, listen, my man, I gotta tell you, I mean, we, we need to talk. So I'm gonna tell you one time, I'm gonna tell you one time, motherfucking only. Keep your motherfucking name out my mouth. <laughs> 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 I 